I want the voice in the head to be thinking about the solution. What's the one goal that you should be working on and what's the solution that's going to get you there or series of solutions. So how would you know that you have something in your life that requires your one goal focus? And how would you possibly have time in your busy life to do anything about it? Think about it this way. If today you found out you were diagnosed with cancer, you would suddenly have one really big goal, more important than anything else in your life, beating that cancer. You wouldn't stop doing everything in life. You would still want to spend time with family. I mean, all those things would be important, but that goal would suddenly be on your mind all the time. You would resolve to learn about your disease, get the best treatments, find the best facilities, research the best doctors. You'd focus on pursuing the best course of action to achieve that one goal, beating that cancer. Now, thankfully, not every goal in life is life or death. I'm going to read my version of how to evaluate each key area. Now your opinion may differ, and of course that's fine, but the most important thing is I want you to be honest with yourself, whether the question I'm asking or the question you're asking in your own head, okay? Be honest with yourself, because sometimes that's the hardest part. And so you're going to make a note as I read questions about each of these areas, whether the answer is, yeah, that, that thing is doing good in my life, or mm, just okay, or mm, that area needs a little improvement, or maybe I ask you a question like, are you doing this and this? And you're like, absolutely not. So those are your answers. Good, okay, needs improvement, absolutely not. And so you are going to reveal through this process something that's been weighing on your mind, even if you've been pushing it to the back of your mind. And I'm gonna give you my perspective on each of these. So next is the career, right? It helps to keep educating yourself. So education is part of this category. And you wanna at least be doing that once a month, you know, if you don't have some pending deadline for a certification. Go to a webinar, read a book, come to an event like this. You're educating yourself by being here right today. So none of you have dropped that ball, I know that. So now in terms of your job, Okay, you may not be making as much money as you'd like or have the title that you want. Many of us don't. But is your work satisfying? Do you enjoy what you do? And do you, en do you enjoy it most days? Every day is not going to be a walk in the park, but more often than less often. More often, yes, I enjoy it than those days that, oh, it's driving me crazy. And then volunteering. While, again, it's hard to squeeze in all these things when you're so busy, that can be something as simple as, you know, just going with your kids to donate some canned goods to the soup kitchen once a month. Uh, again, once a month. Sometimes you got to schedule these things in, right? To make sure that you're sort of getting to all those different things. And then creativity is important for everyone. Some people say, oh, I'm not a creative person. Everyone has that in them. And everyone has a need to tap into that. So do you have an outlet where you can tap into that? Gardening is an example of one. Um, maybe doing crafts with your kids. Just once, you know, once or twice a month, doing something creative to tap into that part of you. And the same with a new idea, whether it's a business idea, something you want to develop like I'm doing with my YouTube channel, couple times a month is, is all you need to not drop that ball. And you can turn that potentially into a hobby or business in the future as you're developing it. If you've got something in these categories that is not in the right place, you want to be aware of it, and then you want to take the steps, the one goal steps to fix it. So I did it by listening to a lot of audiobooks. Whenever I was had a goal, I was like, okay, with real estate, I listen to a lot of real estate books. When my goal was to get rid of the clutter and move, that's all I listened to was books on organization. But not everybody does that, okay? Everyone's got different ways that, that, that they learn or can get to their goal. So one of the reasons that I'm sharing my story today is there are so many parents beating themselves up over how they're handling things in life, all kinds of different things, sometimes multiple things. And I want to stop that guilt of, oh, I don't do this good enough, I don't do that good enough, oh, look at her, she's, that, she's got a bigger house, oh, look at her, she's got a better wardrobe. Um, I want the voice in the head to be thinking about the solution. You sneak in snippets of time if you're really busy. Turn off the TV or the computer or that cell phone we're always looking at, right? Hire a maid if you're, if you're too busy because you got too much cleaning to do. See your friends once a month instead of every week. 
and then utilize that time wisely by taking meaningful steps. So my goal today, okay, was to bring some clarity to you. I hope I've done that. And I want you to have, I'm going to give you a way to have more tips like this in the future. The next time you're on YouTube, you can do this on your phone or on the computer, go to YouTube and search Working Mom Warrior and subscribe, the red subscribe button right under the video on the right hand side, and you'll see um, more tips and ideas from my YouTube channel. So the struggle to juggle is always going to be there, right? But if you know you have control enough to change what's wrong or missing, your glass is suddenly half full instead of half empty. Thank you.